ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Silver the Potato. Here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out Master Plan Tycoon, which is a resource sort of strategy process management style game uh, where you build you know, complicated interconnected networks, and we're going to give it a little whirl today. Um, it's just a it's just an alpha at the moment, just a demo at the moment, uh, so it's not exactly in any finished state, and it's also worth noting that there is sort of like a, a little inbuilt tutorial thing, uh, but as ever, I, I, I know what I'm doing, and I will do my very best to impart to you what the heck is going on. Now, we've got a build menu. It's fantastic. I like it. There's not many buildings, um, but all of the all of the processes are actually displayed very, very transparently here. So if we want to make bread, this is what we need, and it needs to, and it needs to, it needs to be processed at the mill and go into the bakery. Anyway, I mean it's a process management game. You get it. There are processes uh, that are involved. Uh, specifically, what we're going to do here is we're going to build the sawmill and the forester. And I think the interesting thing to note. Um, about this game is the way that things are sort of connected together and I mean the game is called Master Plan Tycoon so I suppose that's kind of to be anticipated that everything kind of looks like it would on an architectural you know master plan drawing I suppose um I just really like the premise to be honest I think this looks tremendously satisfying uh we need to go through and build a build a quarry there are some um there are some quirks I will say uh specifically with this game uh we've got a fisherman let's get a fisherman um and as I say there are some mechanics which um which are really quite interesting um so maintenance maintenance is a pretty important a pretty important factor uh fish Fish are very, very important. Fish going into the storage. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the storage here. Uh, we've got planks up in the top left-hand corner. We've got stones over here, and we've got bricks as well. We can move uh, buildings around as and when we need to in order to reposition them better suited to our needs. So that is definitely worth uh, bearing in mind. And we can also place ourselves another fisherman here, which is what I probably should have done a little while ago. Anyway, uh, we need food in order to keep the buildings up and running. It's very, very important uh, that we always have maintenance available for, uh, or maintenance, should I say, food available for everyone, and fish at the moment is the primary way of uh, of doing that. Right, we can't feed fish. You can't feed a settlement with fish alone. Uh, we need to build a farm. Let's have a little look at, there we go, uh, the bread production tree that I was chatting about a little bit earlier on. Um, we'll get everything We'll get everything up and running. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need to be in this exact uh, layout, but it doesn't it certainly doesn't hurt. Ah, that's a that's a bit of a pain in the backside, isn't it? Um, because we built the field and then we can't actually build the connection over existing uh, existing roadblocks, so we can't build it over existing buildings uh, or anything like that. But we can just move it around and uh, and that'll fix things. That'll fix things very, very swiftly for us. Right, so we get the meal out of the bakery, um, and then we also get the water that goes into the bakery. Uh, and what do we know? We need to build ourselves a storage. Now, there is a little there is a little mission crate over here, which is definitely worth bearing in mind, and in fact is a consideration um, that we need to make right now about how we handle this. Um, the video game is saying quarry, uh, use the quarry and also the bakery in order to power up the mission, which is exactly what I am going to do. Uh, there we go. But in order to, to in order to complete the mission, uh, we actually need to get a certain number of a certain number of stone, a certain number of bread, and the outcome is going to be some bricks. But it's not quite that simple. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But for now, I need to disconnect that line because that's what the, the tutorial thing is telling me to do. And if we don't do that, then there's going to be an issue. Um, I just love the way that everything sort of looks. Everything sort of flows. It looks lovely. I like how you can cross uh, cross lines. I think that's very, very cool. I think it's just a lovely little, I think it's just a lovely little well-presented game. It really is very, very good. Okay. So we'll get this last bit of stone literally coming along the, the line at the moment. Uh, and then we can go to, we can go to the mission. Oh yeah, uh, hold on, I need to build another quarry and connect it to main storage. Okay, that's fine, I can do that. I wasn't really paying attention. More focusing on the, uh, the mission objective here. There we go, move that down there, move that up there, and there we go. Literally, just like that, we're able to, we're able to reposition. Uh, so that is fine. We need to build another fisherman over here. That's fine. I'm very, very happy to do that. In fact, more than delighted to do something along those lines. Okay. 
brilliant. And this is a critical point, by the way, that the, the little tutorial thing is making that I'm going to cover. All the fish that we get here will automatically become available to all buildings within the radius of all storage. All storage is in this zone as a maintenance resource. This storage has a zone and um, the maintenance from, from the fish over here uh, will be used to maintain the bakery. Uh, and also the mission, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. Right, we need to go to the mission. When we jump into the mission, we'll find that, oh my goodness, it's layers within layers within layers. And this is actually very, very cool and also very, very important because we have a limited space. Uh, we have a very, very limited space in the master plan. That's right, literally the master, the master plan, right? You with me? You with me so far? Good, good, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. It's... That's fine. Are we not able to get fish here? Is that... Is that an issue? Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's go to the mission. We'll we'll just get this done. Um, you see the node labeled in? This includes the resources that we've collected in the master zone. Build the store, the first storage in the zone, and then we can get them. Yeah, so, um, everything that we put... Everything that we put into... Everything that we put into the mission, that is five stone and ten bread, um, we will now have available to us inside here, which is very, very cool because we can build ourselves a storage and it's got uh it does have it does have some costs associated with it but it's it's nothing major uh we'll get everything we'll get everything going here so we've got our stone which is marvelous and in fact i'm not even sure yeah stone is not available here stone is not available in this in this area at all this is is all clay i believe so we'll get to that in just a second uh, but the point is the point is is that we need to get bricks at the end of the day to the to the output and that will that will appear as the output for the mission which again i think is very very cool i like that a lot uh, there are other resources that we can collect in here and that's what we're going to get onto right now we're going to get a forester we're going to get a sawmill marvelous and we'll get that all linked up very very simple very very simple right our settlers are a little chilly, they need clothes uh, to work in more complex industries. Yes, we'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, but for now, we can we can look at getting a sheep farm. It needs six planks, three stone, and it needs bread as a maintenance as a maintenance item. And similarly, the sewing workshop is well, it's very well, it's, I say it's very similar. It's kind of similar. That's fine. We're happy to happy to do that. Where do I want to build it? Let's build it up here. And let's build this over here. Boom and boom. That's marvelous. And now, the video game, you want uh, you want to stock up on ten clothes. I mean, that's that's fine. How much does it take? It takes one wool. It takes one wool uh, every forty-five seconds to make one clothes, and then we get one wool every. Every one, I mean, that's every one minute, but it's, but it's, but it's two. We can also raise and we can also shear sheep. So that is very, you know, we could have one farm that is specifically uh, raising the sheep and the other one that is specifically uh, shearing them, you know? So that's, that's very, 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 very noteworthy. I think I'm going to nab another sheep farm, to be honest. I mean, there's no real reason not to. I've got plenty of planks coming in here. Um, I'm not particularly worried. We've got plenty of bread coming in. We've got plenty of stone uh, coming in at the moment. So, I mean, everything seems... Everything seems fine in the grand scheme of things. There we go. Let's get these. Let's get these sheeps on the move. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Do I want to get? I could get. I could get another sewing workshop. Again, this is entirely possible. We could connect up the outputs over here. Um, it's gonna split. It'll split naturally, so it'll split one to one, one to the other. Again. Is that worth it? I mean, it probably isn't. I mean, at this point, we probably should just get... We probably should just get a very, very simple sort of setup like so. Uh, that would seem a little bit more sensible, but hey-ho. Right, excellent. There's clay in this zone, which means we can set up the production of bricks, which is fantastic. That is very, very much what I want to do. Clay pit needs 12 stone. Clay pit needs 12 stone. There's an issue with stone, apparently. What's the issue with stone? I mean, it's coming. It's just not coming particularly quickly. So you know what? Let's fix that. Let's supercharge. Let's supercharge the uh, the quarry extraction here, and let's see what we can do about this. Marvelous. Yoink in here, and then let's get our let's get ourselves this clay pit. Beautiful. 
Right, so, as I say, we got the clay source, brick factory, we need 12 stone. It's a good thing that I just went and sorted the, the stone situation, isn't it? The more the merrier, please, video game. I appreciate that it is taking some time. But again, I can, I can build more. I can build more. There's absolutely no reason not to build more. Apart from the fact that I can barely... I can barely stretch. Okay, good. More? Uh, pushing it a little, isn't it? It really is. But again, why not? Why not? Why the heck not? Okay, we got 24 stone. That's going to be absolutely more than more than we need for now anyway. Uh, worth noting, by the way, that the maintenance of the brick factory is bread and clothes. Uh, so that is quite a lot. That is quite a lot. That's all within range of the storage uh, storage area. That's fine. Clay. Boom. Clay is an output. Brick factory. It's working. It's working. It's working. It's working. This is marvelous. Um, again, though, the... The clothes, do we have enough clothes production? I think we should have enough clothes production. Yeah, we've got 30 at the moment. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, so hey-ho. Anyway, uh, we need to deliver this to the master zone. I think slight issue with bumping into the wall there, but that's fine. Anyway, that's it. We need to get three bricks in order to, uh, in order to make it happen. Is anybody here? Is anybody here? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but anyway... I think. Yep, there we go. We've got ourselves three bricks. And what do you know? That is fantastic. Right, before we start producing complex things, we need to provide our settlers in the main zone with clothes. I do remember how it's done. Uh, the real question is, where do we want to get it done to? I think we probably... Or where, where do we want to build... Where do we want to... Where do we want to build it? I mean... I don't really want to build it right in the center. Because that just seems a little bit daft. Maybe over maybe over here. I, again, I don't like it. I don't love it, but... Because the, the sheeps... The sheeps... Uh, the sheeps can cause hassle. They can cause a lot of hassle. We need bread as well. Uh, yeah, so let me tell you. The bread that's currently being baked... Do I need to change that around... I mean, we have bread from here. Do we have, like, how much bread do we have in, in, in this place? Four bread? So we don't actually, we straight up just don't have enough bread in the, in the new zone. I'm thinking that we probably want to maybe get, probably want to maybe just commit to a sentence orbital. Commit to the sentence. Right, yoink that in there, that's fine. Well, you don't like that, do you, video game? What about down here? That's more likely to, to work. Anyway, yoink, yoink, and... I mean... I'm shocked that it works. I'm shocked that it works, but I'm delighted that it does. Right, maintenance for the sheep farm and the sewing workshop. That should be fixed. Uh, now, that's excellent. Let's move this down here. And actually, I'm going to get another one, mostly because I'm just impatient more than anything else. Another one of those, another one of those. Right, will we have enough... Will we have enough bread in order to maintain all of this? I very, very much hope so. What do we what do we have? Two out of 75? I mean, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Right, how many clothes do we need? 10 clothes. That's A-OK. -okay. Again, worth very, very much noting that we have a limited amount of space um, in this area. So it's mission critical that we're that we're able to utilize it to to the best of our ability. Yeah, for sure. Right, so we've got the clothes. And now we are on to the sausages. Now that we have everything we need that we can start making sausages, build the next building, but don't forget to balance the production of other chains. Yes, quite. I'm on it video game. So we need a farm, we need a well, and we also need a pig farm and a butchery. That's 
fine. The butchery requires bread and clothes, so it kind of needs to be within this area, right? I don't think that that's necessarily too difficult to orchestrate. Uh, the farm will do, like, down here for a reason that will become quite clear in milliseconds. Uh, we're going to get the well over there. Pig farm we're going to get over here, but I'm probably going to have to move this because that's spawned. That's fine, though. All right, water, that's still within range. Let's drag this back up there. We get pigs out, and then the butchery, again, might have to change locations, but... That's within maintenance. That's within maintenance range anyway, so that's no big deal. Okay. Pig farm gives us pigs. What do we need? Uh, duh, duh, duh. We need... We need... We need quite a lot, actually. We need quite a lot. We need quite a lot. There's a lot of crops that I... Probably should... Try and accelerate the farming of. It'll take a while for the fields to grow, obviously, as well. But I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind just bigging it up. Right, so, sausages, um, I think I'll put this into a brand new storage. I don't think there's any reason that we necessarily need to put it into anywhere else. What do I need? Bread? Is it, is this really out with maintenance range? Is that the issue? It could very well be, it could very well be that. Okay, let's try... Try that. Three bread. Do we not have enough bread here? No, okay, we absolutely do not have enough bread. We absolutely do not have enough bread. Is there an issue with the amount of bread that, we, that we're that we getting? Um, okay, there's a couple of different ways that we can fix the, the bread situation. I mean, that's not one of them. That really isn't. I think, to be honest, we're probably just better served by getting a brand new bread production line. Is that out with the yeah? That's out with the maintenance zone. What do we need in order to in order to fix this? We need fish. That's fine. I was hoping to kind of reuse the same bakery, uh, although I realize now that that might be a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, reusing that bakery might not necessarily be the the best or most possible most possible idea. See, this is this is where I feel like we're quite pressed for we're quite pressed for space here. Thing is, is that if I need to get another bakery, well, I need to get another bakery anyway, for sure, because this bakery is working. It's not working at full capacity, but it's close. Can that go in there? I mean, I think there is a, there is like a micrometer. Micrometer? Yeah, there's a very, very small window there. That's fine. So water is, is quite easy to fix because we've already got the, the well, and the well doesn't actually require any any stuff anyway. What's the issue here? Is this area oh this area is maxed out on stone? Yeah, this has got this has got 75 stone in here. Okay, that's that's okay. Um how much bread? Two bread? Yeah, so literally not enough bread. Literally not enough bread even in even in that area over there. I mean that's fine. Okay, anyway. Uh we'll get the farm over here. Meal over to there. Oh. No, we won't. Yeah, get the farm over there. Get the mill over here. Oh, that was very close. Mill over there. Meal into the bakery over yonder. That's fine. So that's going to give us, hopefully, what we need. The clothes. We have clothes, right? We've got 41 clothes. But apparently we've got far too many things that are taking that are taking bread um maybe we want to maybe we want to demolish that demolish that temporarily sheep farm also requires bread i mean i don't know if i don't know if pausing it actually alleviates the usage but the good news is that the butchery now works whether it's a combination of the fact that we we got additional bread supply or it's the fact that we paused slash deleted the sewing workshop uh i i'm not sure but i'm delighted that that's the case and what do you know? Uh, there we go. We made ourselves we made ourselves some sausages, and that's 
pretty darn good. Now, obviously, uh, only one mission at the moment. That's uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a sad situation. Uh, I, I really, really like this. Uh, quite a, quite a, I feel truncated uh, building menu. I mean, there's nothing, you know, visually, um, there's nothing really visually different about any of the, the different nodes. I don't think that's necessarily a problem. I really, really, really like uh, the way that the game looks at its present, uh, at its present incarnation. The forest there, oh, that's, that's interesting. Uh, what's the issue? Yeah, we just have too many planks, I imagine. Yeah, we got far too many planks. Yeah, so not very many buildings at the moment, but definitely, 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 definitely a really interesting concept. I actually really, really like it. I like the look of it. I think it looks fantastic. I really hope that, um, I really hope that I'll, uh, that I'll return to this one. And, uh, I say I hope, I say I hope I'll return to it. I know I'll return to it. Because it looks, it looks very, very good. Anyway, uh, ladies and gents, going to wrap this episode up for now. Thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. Check out the Patreon page if you're interested in helping me videos like this possible. But for now, and for me, I'll see you next time. Bye.